All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 1 fourth plus x to the power of 1 half is equal to 1. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation. So I have x to the power of 1 fourth plus x to the power of 1 half is equal to 1. Now, I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides, so then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of 1 fourth plus x to the power of 1 half minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to let x to the power of 1 fourth equal to the variable t. So I get t t is equal to x to the power of 1 fourth, meaning if I take the square on both sides, I get t squared is equal to x to the power of 1 fourth squared. And if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x to the power of 1 fourth squared, that's going to be equal to x to the power of 1 fourth times 2, which is equal to x to the power of 1 half, meaning t squared is equal to x to the power of 1 half. So I have t plus t squared minus 1 is equal to 0. And if I rearrange this, I get t squared plus t minus 1 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 1, and c is negative 1. So I get t is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 1, all over 2a. So 2 times 1. And this is equal to positive 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus, sorry, plus 4, because negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4, all over 2. And this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now we get t equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. And this gives me two solutions. t is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 and t is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, this means that t squared is going to equal negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 squared. And this is the same thing as negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 times negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And this is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 minus the square root of 5 plus the square root of 25 over 4, which is equal to 1 minus 2 root 5 plus 5 over 4, which is equal to 3 minus the square root of 5 over 2, meaning x to the power of 1 half is equal to 3 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And now, if I take the power of 2 on both sides, x to the power of 1 half to the power of 2, these two cancel out, so I get x is equal to 3 minus the square root of 5 over 2 squared, which is, again, equal to 3 minus the square root of 5 over 2 times 3 minus the square root of 5 over 2 which is equal to 
9 minus 3 root 5 minus 3 root 5 plus the square root of 25 over 4, which is equal to 9 minus 6 root 5 plus 5 over 4, which is equal to 14 minus 6 root 5 over 4. And this is the same thing as 7 minus 3 root 5 over 2. Or we could also write this as 1 half times 7 minus 3 root 5. So this is my solution.